folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, so today uh, is a follow-up to uh, the inspection on hive number nine. It's actually the next day. So last night I went in there and I found uh, swarm cells that uh, weren't capped off yet. And I was looking at my uh, queen growth chart and uh, looks like they ought to be capped off in the next three or four days. So uh, I'm gonna take advantage of the time I got. I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna try and find that uh, original queen. And if I can find her, I'm gonna go ahead and move her on out and uh, stop that swarm. Uh, so that's really all there is to say about that. So let's get in there and uh, see if we can find her and uh, see if we can make that split. Okay, let's get in here. Get these uh, honey supers off here real quick. I'm gonna stack these supers on top of each other over here. I took that lid off so I can set this on that other one because I may need the space on my stand over there if I have to uh, move this box off and look in the bottom for that queen and start uh, pulling the split too. So yeah, I've got a deep uh, box on here for a honey super because I ran out of boxes, ran out of uh, six inch supers. And hopefully they'll remain fairly calm. They're putting nectar in this. They've drawn this frame out nice. They're in the last position, or number one position. Got the uh, shiny nectar in there and a little bit of pollen. A few drones hanging out there. Drones like to hang out on these outside frames. We got fresh eggs on this frame, so this would be good to make a split with if we wanted to do a uh, walk away type split. Let them pull down a queen. Use the uh, on the spot queen rearing method where you uh, notch the uh, comb with your hive tool. So it'd be great if we could find that queen quickly. Seeing those fresh eggs up here in the top. This is a uh, almost completely capped brood frame, so chances are she won't be on here. So all the brood, capped brood. So in 2020, I have not seen this queen. I've only seen uh, evidence of the queen and I never actually laid eyes on her. And last year, same thing, as far back as my notes go. And uh, so I don't know what color this queen is and I, I'm suspecting she is not marked. And there are tons of bees in here. It's just rolling with them. Man, look at that. It's gonna be hard to spot a queen in here. There's one queen cell on here. I'm gonna mark that. So I'm marking where my queen cells are with the blue queen marking pen. So, Next year when I'm doing this, that blue mark won't mean anything because blue's for 2020. I used to mark them with a Sharpie and then I got to where I had so many Sharpie 
marks on my frames. I didn't know if that was from this year or last year or what. So I started doing that. One thing's for sure, this hive has not swarmed. There are so many bees in here. And it's loaded with brood. Here's queen cell up here. There's one right here. They are fixing to leave the building. I didn't mark those cells, did I? There's so many on here. Gosh, I hate to pull that other frame back out, but I want to mark those cells. So I hate to split this hive up and make uh, multiple splits off of it because man, it is a honey making machine right now. Let's see. I think, yeah, right here on top on the other side. We'll check this one again, just in case. Another thing, when you're looking for a queen that's about to swarm, she's gonna be trimmed down a little bit because uh, they typically stop laying and they'll lose a little bit of their weight so they can make that flight. So every frame is just packed like that. It makes uh, searching very difficult. If this hive had swarmed already, there wouldn't be near this many bees in here. Ah, bingo. And she is trim. There she is. Boy, she got her Nikes on. I lost her just walking over here. So uh, let's get her in this nuke box here. So on this frame, we've got Brood, our queen. We've got Honey up in the corners and Bee Bread around that too. So our queen's right there, I see her. Whoa, what is up with a stick? So there, we've got her in here. Now we need to uh, get some more bees in here so we can go back. Uh, wanna make sure we don't get any uh, swarm cells in here. So here's a good frame here and I need to make sure and look at it real close for swarm cells and if there are any i'll take them off so uh there's a lot of brood on here cat brood I'm guessing this outside frame here will be honey, nectar. Yeah, it's all nectar and pollen. So a lot of these may be field bees and they may go back to the uh, original hive. So I will put this one on the outside. I 
Now this side has more pollen, so I'll put it to the inside. So basically these three frames come out of that hive in the order that they're in right now. So that frame that I said would be good for a split uh, that had some eggs in it, I'm going to go ahead and grab that and put that in here. Because uh, I don't think there was a swarm cell on that. So let's go back and look for that one. I think that was the second frame in. So now that we found the queen, we can smoke these bees on down and get them out of our way. And not worry about chasing the queen off. So we got a blue dot right here. So I think this is the frame I'm looking for. I've got three frames over there. I need two more. So we'll probably just grab these two right here on the outside. Yeah. And we got some little cups down here and I'll take those off. I don't believe there's anything in them. No, they're empty. They're empty, but we don't want to give them any ideas. Wow, there's a lot of bees on here. I believe we got them all. So we'll probably just grab this frame right here. It had a little bit of a nectar in it. And leave all of our uh, swarm cells here. We'll go ahead and let them finish up forming. Man, there's a brood on that. Uh, this was the one that had the eggs in it. So, uh, oh, this was frame number two. Frame number one is down here on the edge. I'm gonna leave this and grab this one. No bees on it, but there's nectar in there. Okay, so here's our artificial swarm split with our original queen. And man, she has laid this hive here up. So we need to get us five frames and replace those and uh, get it shut up and uh, find a place for this nuke here. Okay, we've got the mother hive here. Got our nuke there with the original queen. Uh, these four frames here have queen cells. And we got our uh, two honey supers over here. And I got five frames we're going to put back in here. So good thing about uh, searching for your queen when uh, before these cells are capped off, they're not long. And a lot of times the bees will attach them to the frames below. And... Uh, if you start moving their frames around, you break a lot of those off. So this way, I preserve those cells and uh, more of them may develop and not get broken by me. And uh, later on, I'm gonna come back in here after they're capped and I may pull out uh, two or three of these frames and these will be my new splits with the new virgin queens and try and get them going. So, uh, I can, I'll leave one frame for this hive and I got three other frames I can make splits from. So when, uh, they're, and so when they're done, I'll come in here and do that. And I'll pull bees from other hives that aren't super strong, making a lot of honey uh, to populate with these frames that have the swarm cells. I don't want to pull any more bees out of here. I want to keep this hive good and strong. So this frame is kind of old looking comb. I'm going to put it on the outside and I'm going to go ahead and use it one more year. And uh, next spring when that's empty, I'll probably just pull that out of there. And I've got an empty frame that hasn't been drawn. I want to put between brood frames. So that's this one, and I 
put a fresh coat of wax on it this spring. So it ought to, they ought to jump on that thing and draw it right out. And that'll be a good brood frame the next few years. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot these on over. This is a pretty good looking comb here, it's not that old. It says 2017 on it. If you haven't watched it, check out uh, Bob Benny's last video. He talks about old comb and when you should be, when, when you should rotate it out. And he talks about uh, people that have had uh, issues with old comb and his experience with comb and how he uh, rotates his out. So that's something I picked up from him. Put your old comb to the outside, let them take all their resources out of it and empty it out, and then you could pull it out. Because you don't want to uh, pull out an old comb that's got brood and honey in it. You want them to use that up. I forgot my pen, it was drying out. So these frames I have that don't have a date on them, uh, I started numbering in 2017. So this is uh, 2016 or older. And I started beekeeping in 2013. But I didn't have 30 hives in 2013. <laughs> okay, let's get the excluder on and the honey. Oh man, that's heavy. So I set that on top of here. There's a bunch of bees on the lid of this. They'll work their way down in there. So I had this, this deep honey super sitting on top of this in case I needed that extra space. Because if I went had to take that top deep off and set it over here, it'd all be full. And I'd have to go into the that bottom box looking for that queen. So man, I am so happy and fortunate to have found her in that top box right there. Because, man, I wasn't looking forward to that. Looks like my smoker's about to go thermal nuclear over there. When your smokers do this, they're, they're burning up the fuel, so uh, you don't want it that hot. Just lay it on its side for a little bit and it'll slow that down. I learned that from the dirt rooster. <laughs> and I'm gonna move it downwind. Okay, so we got this tall beast taken care of uh, for now. Uh, we'll check back in five to six days, which may be Sunday. This is Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, sorry. Yeah, Sunday would probably be a good day to, uh, these should be capped and then we can do our other splits. I'm gonna try anyway. So uh, I'm gonna move this up on the hill where I put my new hive stand for my uh, nukes that I'm gonna sell, but I won't sell this because that's an old queen. If I sell a nuke, it's gonna have a new this year's laying queen. And uh, I'm going to throw some, uh, I got some tin I'm going to put underneath that to keep the grass down and then we'll move it over there. I'm putting the front this direction because it's a little lower on this side so the water won't go in the hive. Okay. So, bam, success. I like that. I like going in with the plan and it works out. And man, it doesn't happen like that very often. But uh, got our split over here. All the field bees in here uh, we'll go back to that other hive. So uh, 
Tomorrow we need to look in here and see uh, if they got a decent population. And uh, if not, we'll grab a frame of bees that has uh, brood on it and bring it over and shake it because frames with brood have the nurse bees and they won't fly away. They'll stay where you put them. So uh, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. So please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.